Australia started day three at the Gabba with four for 165 on the board. As Sean Marsh picked up where he left off. That's a good shot, no worry in that. Marsh is away, that's a boundary. He posted 50, then departed. He's got him, has he? Yes, he has, there it is. Leaving Tim Payne to partner with the skipper and help Australia pass 200. Well played, Steve Smith. Payne was undone by this peach from Jimmy Anderson. And Bairstow picks it up. Wow. Four balls with the new ball and they've got their sixth wicket. With Mitchell Stark starting with a bang. Pump down the ground. For six! For Stark, though, it was six and out. Oh, leading edge and he's gone now. There's an eventful piece of cricket. Pat Cummins and Smith saw the host through lunch. Got some timing on that. Wokes just over-pitched and there's a gap there for the square drive. It's going to get there, I reckon. Cummins well up to the task oh, after the break. The there's four. Smith chanced his arm on 94. Nearly an edge. It was there. And after 56 minutes in the 90s, he reached century number 21. He does drive and brings up the 100. The first of the Ashes summer and how appropriate. It goes to the Australian skipper, Steve Smith. Cummins played the shot of the day. Well, oh, how about that for a shot? Ho, ho, ho. Thank you very much. That's as good as I've seen in a match right there. But fell soon after, trying to emulate it. Caught. Caught. The strategy's been there. Wokes hasn't really executed it perfectly. Smith was unfazed, even managing a smile after this short ball. You've got to try and unsettle him, and the only way you'll do that is well-directed bounces. They bowled a lot of bounces to him, but not many of them have been well-directed. He chased quick runs. Down past the bowler. Beautifully timed again from Smith. Waited for the right one. Down the gap. Quality batting. As Australia garnered a lead. Flicks it away nicely. Controls it beautifully. Australia have got the lead. Spin wrapped up the tail. Oh, he's out. Smith unbeaten on 141. Australia all out for 328. Trailing by 26 runs, England got off to a good start as Mark Stoneman found the offside gap. That's four. Though Alistair Cook's nightmare test run continued, a brilliant catch from Stark handed Hazelwood the first. Has supported Hazelwood beautifully. James Vince gone for two, Hazelwood claiming a second. And this is Australia, listen to the crowd, they're behind their team. Joe Root and Stoneman survived a late innings barrage. When you talk about Johnson, that's one of those Johnson deliveries. England two for 33 at stumps on day three, with a lead of seven runs.